Whether deciding to pursue LEED certification or not, all projects should first take a look at the MPRs to see if their project can be eligible for a LEED certification. Then, the project teams will need to determine the rating system that their project fits into. After the rating system is selected, project teams should evaluate the prerequisites and credits of that rating system. Prerequisites are the minimum requirements that all buildings under a certain rating system must meet in order to achieve LEED certification. For example, all the projects that are certified under the LEED BD plus C healthcare rating system must meet all the prerequisites of that rating system, while a project registered under LEED O plus M retail must meet all of its prerequisites. To illustrate, Let's take a look at one of the prerequisites under the LEED BD plus C new construction and major renovation rating system, which is, in this case, the fundamental refrigerant management prerequisite. Briefly, this prerequisite requires that the projects do not use CFC-based refrigerants in their HVAC and R systems. Therefore, every project under this rating system will not use any CFC-based refrigerants, period. Any project that cannot meet this requirement will not be eligible for a LEED certification. While projects can pick and choose the credits they want to pursue, prerequisites are mandatory. Fulfilling the requirements of prerequisites will also not award any points. Now, let's take a look at the credits, which are also a part of each rating system. Projects are free to go for any credit they want within the selected rating system. Each credit has requirements to be fulfilled, and once the requirements are met, the project will earn points. The higher the total points a project earns means a higher level of LEED certification will be awarded. To illustrate a credit, let's take a look at one of the credits under the LEED BD plus C new construction and major renovation rating system, which is, in this case, the Access to Quality Transit credit. Briefly, this credit requires the project to be located within walking distance to public transportation to reduce greenhouse gas emissions resulting from single occupancy vehicle use. Hence, any LEED BD plus C new construction and major renovation project located at a walking distance to public transportation will earn points under this credit. Projects that do not comply with this credit will not receive any points. As mentioned, there are 100 total points allocated to the credits under each rating system, plus there are 10 bonus points. A project that earns 50 points in total will receive a LEED Silver, while another project that earns 80 points will receive LEED Platinum. If both of them additionally satisfied all the prerequisites and the MPRs, the prerequisites and credits are also categorized as design, or construction prerequisites or credits according to the project phase they are performed in. For example, the mentioned access to quality transit credit is a design credit since the project's location will not be decided during the construction phase. Other than the prerequisites and credits, there are also pilot credits, which are credits being tested for the updated version of LEED. And according to the feedback received by USGBC, these pilot credits can become actual credits of the updated LEED rating system, which would be LEED V5. Pursuing any pilot credit is optional to team members, but if the project chooses to earn a pilot credit, bonus points will be awarded. The points will be awarded under the Innovation Credit, which is located under the Innovation Credit category that we will discuss in the later sections. Project teams can find the pilot credits that are available to each rating system from the LEED Pilot Credit Library on the USGBC's website.